Hey ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. My name is Luca and we're continuing with our Hungarian campaign, episode number 5. So far we're doing pretty good, we just got our new settlement, Sofia. And I'm pushing forward with my priests toward Thessalonica to try to convert the, co um, the populace and maybe get them to riot against the Byzantines. So that's the plan for now. Also, I need to re... how do you say? Re... Get a little bit more of troops going on in s around Zagreb because Venice already showed me some signs of. Am I saying this correct? Byzantines actually took Venice's castle. Wow, are they in war? <laughs> they are in war actually. <laughs> hmm, now I'm thinking. Reasonable, very untrustworthy. Mixed. Huh. Okay, so let's update. Ven Venice and Byzantines are actually in war, so I'm not gonna interfere. Nah, <laughs> I'm not gonna interfere, but I will interfere by entering Thessalonica with my priest. Yes, my king. Okay, anyways, our Sophia is starting converting to the town, and again, I did not press the enter button. So, <laughs> I do, sorry for that, I apologize for that. But what can do? Um, stupidity is bliss sometimes, right? Do they say like that? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's end the turn. New mission, Kiev. Aha, uh -huh. and Kiev is quite far away from the main core of settlements. But they're offering some of the best units currently available. Huh. You know what? We can do this. We can do this, I guess. So, let me get my... Yes. Actually, can I recruit Spy again? I could in Bucharest, because I'm building Brudel. And it's gonna allow me to uh, recruit Spy. So I just need to wait one more turn, build a couple of more units, and we're set to invade Kiev. Let's see, we got one more priest in Bucharest. Let's get him to the Salonica region. Continue. And we are already... No, we're not yes, actually. Now we're starting How to convert people God to Christianity. On my way. City Watch has been finished in Budapest. Great. Now look at these guys. These guys are so freaking good. This... Oh my god. I just love crossbowmen. <laughs> so what next can we build? Let's see. Loyalty. Influence, nice, and new family member, Barbara. Oops, not that's not something I wanted to. I wanted to show the family tree. Okay, um, age four, one, five, five. I'm just checking if there is any generals we can expect in the future, but apparently there is not. So, never mind. An enter and report. Overall, we're doing pretty good. Number five in the list out of 18 factions. That's pretty good, I think. Anyways, Budapest, what can we build here? What do we need, actually? Mm hmm, hmm, Church. Nah, I don't think we need a church. We do need... Uh, what we do need is some better roads. Let's see, Krakow does not have better roads. What is... Vienna does not have any better roads. But... Venice actually does have some better roads. So, you know what? Let's keep up with the competitors and let's build some stone roads, um, pavel roads, which will even further increase our um, income in trading and even further increase the movement speeds around the Budapest region. Ah, I remember the region word now. <laughs> After that, I'm gonna build some fairgrounds and irrigation. That is the final farms you can build in the game, so. It's quite nice to finish it uh, first, so it does quite cost a lot. Almost 5,000 florins is quite expensive, but whatever. What can you do? Anyway, Sophia has been transferred into a... T what is this? Small town? Yeah, it is a small town. And we can instantly convert it into a, a little bit bigger town, since... Yeah, we have just enough population to upgrade the wall, so I'm gonna do that first. Retrain, I 
don't need to retrain anybody here. Um, I'm also wondering and worrying if Byzantine Empire will attack me because I had an idea of getting all these troops to Ran and actually invade Kiev over here with these troops. Maybe I should save them here for now, just so I can have some basic means of defense for Sofia, the south side of the empire, Hungarian empire, or Hungarian, what are we called? Just Hungary, I guess. Yeah. Now, I'm wondering, should I call... It's 1118 already, and Crusades in real life has been going on already so I'm wondering should I call a crusade on somebody? Jerusalem, Antioch mm. should I or not? Tbilisi? No, that's actually yeah upstairs. Nah, let's just wait. I need to focus down on my empire for for now. Later I'm gonna worry about crusades and all that. <laughs> all the rubbish. Okay, tomorrow in the next turn, we will be upgrading into Fortress. First, let's Can move with our diplomat. Try to find the uh, English princess, which is obviously not here. Yeah. Let's move to the Tomorrow's Polish region. And with this guy, let's speak to Without Spain. Question. Is this Spain? No, this is actually still re tomorrow. rebel um, settlement. Time. Let's go speak with Portugal. Portugal has a settlement over here, so... Yeah. And that's about it for this turn. Okay, so we can safely move to the next turn. Let's watch the brand grow. There we go. It grew that quickly. <laughs> Still getting money? Pretty good, pretty good. And that's a lot of a lot of stuff that has been constructed. How may I say? Let's go down to Thessalonica region. Yeah, can you come down? There we go. And you join over here. Now Let's try to bring the spy inside so we can see 94% of chance of success. There we go. We can now see the exact details of the religion of the population. So most of them is Orthodox. And uh, we want to get at least 70% of Catholics. So they will start rebelling against the, you know, Emperor Alexis. Alexis. Yeah, it's Alexis. Wow. So bold and confident in command, this man could lead an angry mob to conquer an empire. <laughs> Sicily, good. Poland, very good. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. I'm keeping a good relationship with the bordering factions, which is which is pretty nice, actually. Okay, how much do we need until the next upgrade? 400 more population? Still low tax rate? Good. Budapest? Don't need later Thena. Later Thena is actually armory. It, well, we can see by the shape of the building it has like a... What's this? A furnace? Let's say like that. But yeah. Barracks. Pavis Spearman. Hmm. Can do Sheriltrum. I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Which is good against cavalry. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But let's build some dismounted feudal knights and feudal knights. That's gonna I'm gonna work on that first. And you know what? Let's build barracks here. Oh wow, we're already in some depths. I cannot spend any more money. And we are actually spending quite a lot of money now. I mean, I don't really need to spend any more because everything is building. In Zagreb I can't... I don't really need to build anything. I don't need to build, build a later Thanner. And same thing in Bucharest. These are the main source of income. So I don't really need to, you know, orient myself for the armory. I'm gonna do that at a later date when some better troops come, you know. Actually, in Budapest, I might do that since we have police crossbow militia. Also, I want to get my general so he can give me some lights around. Wow, this is a huge army he has. But most of them are, I would say, the 
What was the yes, name of the thing? Mercenaries. Oh, there's the... Hmm. I'm gonna have to... Which... This is Budapest region. Now this... Yeah. These guys are bringing me some devastation to them. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take care of them. It's nothing I need to worry about yet. I'm gonna do it later. Let them devastate my land. I don't care. For now. Later, you're gonna... You're gonna face my wrath or something. <laughs> Jihad has been successfully taken by Egypt. Good job, Egypt. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> they're first since they took the Constantinople. Cardinal Dials dies. Scotland. This guy always dies first. <laughs> War declared. Milan on Venice. I couldn't really give less shit about it. Um, excuse my language, <laughs> because Venice did show me their. their true face of actually attacking Zagreb already but uh, my la my alliance with Sicily actually saved me so yeah let's speak uh, with Portu oh. Portugal Is there something I can do for you, alliance friend? yes I can still offer them alliance um now let's ask for three turns as usual still generous maybe two thousand per three turns balanced Acceptable. Just accepted. Well, no Great. Let's move to Without Russia. Question, and over here, I don't really need to speak and with Portugal now. I need to speak with Spain. And then eventually Tomorrow's with Moors. So this will be it for this turn. Let's see, we can probably build some crud. There we go. I'm not going to build these guys anymore. There's some light infantry. Useless compared to the feudal dismounted feudal knights and feudal knights, since they're really heavy in infantry. With some really good defense. Sophia, what can I build here? Um, I do have a lot of trade rights now, so I think it's good to build a port. And then I'm going to build uh, dirt roads, grain exchange, land clearance, and a small church. That's going to be it. Yes, my king. Here we go. 14% Catholic. Uh, it's gonna... How do you say? Convert something? <laughs> the re religion, yes. religious Good. conversation Good. will be even better because they do not have any orthodox priests yes, over here, but king. I guess I bet they're gonna send them quite soon because Catholic religion is getting really strong here. And that's something they do not wanna, you know deal with. They don't want to deal with the uh, unrests and stuff. But yeah, we're done with this with this turn. Let's move to the other. Also, I need to get some generals. Oh! Speak of the devil. <laughs> plus one dread, plus two pity, minus one loyalty, night fighter. Uh, I don't really want you guys. Sorry, no. <laughs> I do need some generals. I did bring this guy to the family by adoption. It's funny to see this guy is this um, is Prince Kalman, Prince Kalman's son, and he's only one year younger than him. <laughs> War declared. Turks and the Byzantine Empire. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Good. Got some chivalry. Always good. Always good. And now our roads are done in Budapest. It's also pretty good. Building some more units. And let me give... Let me yes, oh. Now why is this watchtower not working? It's because the rebels are actually on it. Now look, look, look. How can, how far can I move in my region with the best... You see, with the best um, roads. But, on the other hand, on the Holy Roman Empire, as you can see, I can't move that far. You know? Same thing as in, well, I can't really move because of the mountains, but yeah, you can see the difference in movement speed and movement points. Now, yeah, the rebels are blockading my thing. There they are. So I can train my Pavis crossbowmen on them. So let's do that. Oh, I'm going to do that next turn. Growth, and let's disable this. Um, <laughs> Venice does not plan to attack Byzantines yet. 
only that we do. And we're still tr um, converting the populants here. Um, I think we're ready to attack. So I do need a general. But I think we're quite safe to go without a general. So let's 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 do that. Where's Kiev? Kiev somewhere over there. Twelve more turns. Right, it's over here. Yeah, exactly over there. Good. Anyways, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, there's the English princess. Great. I need to speak with you. There we go. Four, three thousand florins. Generous. Okay, let's ask maybe for ten, four turns. Balanced. Except Great. Let's move to Moscow. Holy Roman Empire. Very good. Pretty, pretty nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Allies declare war. Sicily on the Byzantine Empire. I did not know Byzantines were my allies. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. I would support Sicily on the Byzantines. And yeah, I will. So I'm gonna stay with the aggressor. I'm gonna break the alliance with the Byzantines. Actually, let's see if they're still paying me. Are they? No, they're not. So let's break the alliance with the Byzantine Empire. Alliance, great. Milan has been excommunicated. <laughs> okay, good luck Milan with that. Plus one to agent skill. That's our spy, I think. Yes, that's our spy. Okay, let's speak with Spain. Give me, give me, give me some Florence. That's my proposition to you. Give, give me, give me all the Florence you have. Thank you. <laughs> it's really, really easy to get Florence in this game. It's ridiculous. You just need to have two diplomats, and that's it. Can I help, my lord? Okay, let's 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 train our Pavis crossbowmen. What do they have? They have Krod Axemen and Slav. Stupid guys. Let's fight this guy. Uh, let's fight this army. I'm gonna demonstrate to you how badly the Pavis crossbowmen are. Probably most of you do know how deadly they are, but for the guy, new guys. Let's check it out. It's always fun to see how how just easily they're cutting through everybody, like through butter. It's just so freaking funny to see. Um, disable the skirmish mode. Yeah, that should be good. And actually, I would like to spread them out a little bit more. Like this. There we go. Are they pressing forward? Yes, they are. Great. Okay, so basically these crossbowmen are cold because they have uh, this shield and this shield is used, is placed on their back so whenever they're reloading like this they are protected by arrows, something really cool to know. And let's fire at them. Of course they're really really effective in close range, but they're also effective in long range actually. As you can see, they're just cutting through them through like butter. Just the attack route X-Men, they're the most biggest threat. Let's see the last volley of arrows. Boom. Okay, fall back, fall back, fall back. Look at this. They're dropping down like crazy. Let's attack with our spear, spear militia. Let's get our horsemen to take a flank. And these guys, you can shoot at the Croat. Let's get like over here. And let's get my police militia over here, so you can actually shoot their flanks. And you guys, you're gonna get from behind. Actually, no, shoot at these guys. The like this, They're falling back. Good. The enemy. Let's just go them. Only half the enemy force remains. Come on, come on, come on. Route them. Route them. The enemy 
General there we go. Lies dead. We have Look how our Let's end the battle. Clear victory. <laughs> I just wanted to demonstrate to you how deadly these guys are and can be. And now we have our watchtower back. That's good. Plus one dread. Nah. Plus one loyalty. Okay. Anyways, what's the plan now? Uh, I cannot build any more police crossbow militia. But I do can build some feudal knights and some cross X-Men, so that's good. Yes. 26% Catholic, pretty good. Iras is still building. You're still going upstairs. And we are ready to go to the next turn. Yes. So let's do that. Okay, another candidate for adoption. Um, minus one morale, that's not something I want. Plus one chivalry. And Jakob wants you. Jakob, who are you? Oh, you are. Okay. How old are you? 24. You know what? I'm gonna take him. Yeah, okay, there he is. Sophia, and I'm gonna actually send you to Bran. Um, units are done. Bran, some buildings are done. And Zagreb is ready to upgrade. Let's just upgrade the thing. Okay, um, Bucharest, now which? Ah, I closed it. Oh yeah, Irasi was done with the buildings. Let's build the town watch here. And Bran was done with the buildings. How much can we spend? 300? Nothing. Hmm. Can't really go wild here. But we can build Pavis Spearman now. So we are now starting to get some real some troops going on, you know? What I want to do now is get some later tanning growing, some army, so, so my units can get some better armor. I see Poland is thinking the same, attacking Kiev. And yeah, we're ready to move to the next turn, but first, let's move upstairs with our diplomats and downstairs with the diplomat on the south side of the continent. Okay, now what is Ven Ben is doing here? What are you doing here? I do not want to see you over here, actually. Let's retrain these fellas. And build. Actually, I'm gonna do lo do like this. I'm gonna merge these yeah. fellas, and so I can build another unit of Pavis crossbow militia. God Thirty-one percent of Catholic. Catholic. Pretty good. Pretty good. Public order, as you can see, it's ninety-five percent. It's going down the public order, so that's really, really good. But they're bringing some priests here. It's gonna be a little bit harder to convert the uh, population. Making the wind work. Well, good for you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sicily has a declared war on Spain. Oh, allies declare war by Milan and Sicily. No, I'm gonna stay with Sicily for now because Milan is excommunicated. Yeah, these are some tough um, decisions I have to make. But whatever. Can I help? They're not that tough. Let's speak with Moors. Can you give me some credits? Florence? Yes, you can. Thank you. Thank you very much. So pretty much, I have spoken with all factions on the European side. I would need to go over here and speak with Egypt. No, not like that. Ah, if you want, actually, you can go take the long route. I need to speak with Egypt, with Turkey. And that's pretty much every faction we spoke with. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. What's the 36, 70 percent public order? They're gonna start rebelling soon, so I gotta get my army ready. <laughs> Kiev is over here. They did already try to invade, but... Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna actually wait this Polish army to come and help me. Um, take the settlement. There we go. Crowd Axeman, I'm not gonna actually... Ah, I'm gonna build him, doesn't matter. Let's move to the next turn. Need a little bit more to upgrade the Bucharest. Turn 
Turks are trying to speak with me. Okay. Let me see your offers. Ooh, great offers. But I will want some credits, of course. You know me. <laughs> oh. Maybe like this? Is this good? Balanced. Your demands. No, I'm gonna actually offer you my... Yeah, there we go. And you gotta pay me one more thousand of Florence. So that's seven thousand total. No, wait. Eight thousand Florence in total. Let's see if this is balanced. Yes, it is. It is not oh, well. such an easy way to get Florence. It's just crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, Venice and the Byzantine Emperor has have declared truce. We're allied with Turkey. My enemies do not last mm -hmm. Look at all these mercenaries. Mercenaries, mercenaries. They only have like two troops there or there's. 85% of the... Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a brothel. Nah, actually. I need to build... Get a, a, an assassin. So I can actually destroy like a town guard. And a church. Um, because these guys can give... Um, you know. Bonus to public law and order. Same as the, with the church. So it's gonna... If I sabotage these buildings, the populace can rebel quite easily. Let's build a brothel here. And let's invade Kiev. There's some Cossacks. Archer militia and spear militia. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually invade them. Let's bring some reinforcements here. Okay. Anyways, yeah, let's move to the n uh, next turn. Oh, Zagreb is done with the um, upgrades. Town Guard, I need to build that as soon as possible. And then some markets, crop rotation, mines, which will give me income from mining. 760, that's crazy. Church and an inn to finally get some assassins going on. <laughs> that's really funny. I don't know what's what Venice is doing so far deep in my regions, in my empire. I don't think they can do much actually, but yeah. What is Sicily doing here? Weird. Anyways, let's move to the next turn. Bran? Well, I need to build something in here. <laughs> blacksmith. Let's build a blacksmith. Russia wants to speak with me. Oh, I forgot to move my diplomat upstairs in the north to Russian settlement. But everybody wants to ally, be allies with me. It's pretty good. And Russia is one of the richest guy factions in the map. So let's ask 9,000 Florence from them. And I want your... I'm offering your my map information. Unfortunately, we cannot accept this. Do you, are you seeing this? This amount of Florence. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm selling you all that for 8,000 Florence. Spain is best in financial things. Budapest is again ready to upgrade. Large stone walls. Nice. Two chivalry. Pretty good, pretty good. Anyways, I think I'm going to pause the video. I think it's been going on for quite a while now. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to see you fellas next time. Take care.